Hey everybody, welcome back to the Armory. Today we're going to see if we can get Herman to recreate an iconic painting using only light. Some people make absolutely gorgeous pictures using light painting. How it works is you take a light and you move it around in front of a camera while the camera takes an image over that whole time. Then at the end, the camera takes all the light that it's seen and fuses it into a single picture. So you see all of the motion that that light took and it makes nice streaks and paths all through the image. So what we need to do is we need to attach a light to the end of Herman. So Herman can move that light around in front of a camera. We're gonna be using a tricolor LED, which is an LED that you can set to red, green, blue, or any combination of those three. So you should be able to make any color with this LED. We're gonna be controlling it from a Raspberry Pi, just because it's cheap, accessible, and the Raspberry Pi can drive the LED with minimal extra hardware. So let's put that together. The hardware for this is super simple, so we're gonna move on to software. There are two different ways I'm gonna be doing software for this. The first way is the more traditional and probably easier way to do it. Herman is gonna be moving the light around the outside of different objects to trace them. So it could be letters to spell a word, or it could be the different edges of an object to draw a picture. I'm gonna be using Mastercam to do this just because it's easy and I have it. But most of this is going to be driven from vector art, and there are Python libraries that will take vector art and generate paths directly from it. So you can use those paths to drive it. You'll notice that for every shape, there's actually two images. The first one is a video of Herman tracing out the shape, and I'm overlaying the image that Herman is drawing on top of it. The second image is actually a long exposure shot taken from an SLR camera right beside it. The first one is a little bit of smoke and mirrors, just to show you exactly what Herman is doing, and you can see the process of how the camera is adding the information. But the second one is actually a properly taken shot. The second way I'm doing the software is based on raster images. So these are standard images like JPEG or bitmap or PNG. What I'm having Herman do is move back and forth in a grid pattern, and the whole time I'm monitoring where the LED is. Depending where the LED is, I find the pixel color of that space in the image, and I change the LED to match that color. That way, as Herman moves, that pixel is always updated to match the color of the image, and over time, you end up filling out the entire image. Now, I've been getting a lot of requests about how you program ARMS or what languages you use. And because of that, this whole part 
is written all in Python, and I'll be releasing it on GitHub as well. So you can check the link for that in the description. This is using the, the RTDE interface from Universal, or Rudita for short. So the Rudita interface lets you communicate with a CB3 arm at 125 hertz or the new E series at 500. So if you need that faster update rate, then you can update to the E series of robots. You'll notice in these images that the edges aren't perfectly straight and aligned with one another. There's a little bit of a delay, and that's mostly just because the Raspberry Pi doesn't have quite enough oomph to keep up with the amount of data coming off of the robot. So having a slightly more powerful computer would definitely help. Herman did a pretty good job of recreating this, but I think it's still worth a trip to the Louvre to see the original. This project was actually a lot of fun to do. It was nice getting a little more experience and practice with the Rudita interface from UR. Also, it, that makes the robot really, really flexible. You can do all of your programming inside of Python and leverage all the libraries that are already there. If you have any questions, make sure to stick them down in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you get notified when I have new projects coming out with Herman or with Susan. Thanks for watching. Robots are awesome, and I'll see you next time.